Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence in this night watch. It is currently 1.05 in the morning over here where I'm at. And depending on what time zone you're in and where you're at, you could be rising up, sleeping, or you might be up like me in the middle of the night watch. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Thank you, God. We just enter into your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Thank you for loving us despite our weaknesses. Thank you for loving us despite our faults, God. Thank you for loving us regardless of anything. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. Thank you for your mercy and your goodness. Thank you for your mercy and your goodness. Thank you for your goodness. A mercy that follows us all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. I'm trying to find out how to share this. Okay, great. God, you are awesome. You are perfect. You are good all the time. You are not a man that you should lie. You are truthful. Praise God for a truthful father. Praise God that you are truth. <coughs> Excuse me, Mom. Hallelujah. Jesus, Lord. Yeah, Father God, thank you just for your breakthroughs in this night watch. I thank you for miracles over our lives. I thank you for your prayer points and the things you desire to do in this night watch. I thank you for pushing back the works of the enemy. And I thank you for freedom. I'm trying to share this. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to release whatever God wants to release in this night watch. Uh, I felt like he wanted to come on and do some stuff. So I just, you know, I'm trying to be obedient and follow the Lord's leading because that's what he desires for his children to follow him. And to move when he's moving and to stop when he's stopping and to just go left when God says left and he says go right, we go right. So that strong obedience, I just pray in, um, in the sight watch that we have the grace, grace to just follow him wholeheartedly in Jesus' name. Okay. Hallelujah. I'm getting somewhere. Praise God. Father God, I just thank you for peace, which surpasses all understanding. I thank you for your wisdom, God. I thank you for your wisdom from above, which is peaceable, pure, gentle, willing to yield, <coughs> excuse me, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Thank you, God, for wisdom, 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 wisdom. Wisdom in what we're called to do. Wisdom. Wisdom in everything we're called to do. Hallelujah. I thank you just for focus, God. Grace of focus on what you're calling us to do. I just decree focus, 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 God. We say praise you, God. You are a God of focus. You're a God of completion. When you start something, you complete it, God. Thank you that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We can do all things, all things. Hallelujah. Nothing will distract us from what we're called to do. God, I pray in Jesus' name that you help us to just fix our eyes on you every single day. Fix our eyes on you. I pray, Father God. For the encouragement of the Lord to just manifest in every area of our lives that we need encouragement in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, that you begin to just uproot discouragement, uproot the sources of discouragement, God. Separate us from discouragement and surround us with faithful encourager, encouragers, faithful intercessors, faithful individuals, God. I pray, God, <laughs> that you expose that which is not good. In our lives and that we have eyes to see and ears to hear when you say go left go right turn away from this separate from this separate from that i pray that we'll be obedient to separate from that which you want us to separate from and to connect with that which you want us to connect to and to obey you no matter what at all costs <clears throat> that's what i felt like i heard at all costs <clears throat> goodness gracious god is just on another level in this season. I don't know about you, but I am feeling God on a different level in this season. He's just doing new things, just greater, greater things. <coughs> Excuse me. He's doing greater things. And I just bind the spirit of fear that none of us would partner with fear or also we wouldn't partner with fear and not or, but and not only would we not partner with fear, but God's voice would be stronger than any fear that would try to come our way. No matter what voice comes our way that tries to tell us to do something opposite that God wants us to do, I pray in Jesus' name that uh, God's voice would be so strong in our lives. We would meditate on his word. We would believe the truth that he did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind that truly he will not put us to shame. We will not be put to shame. If we're doing exactly what he's telling us to do, we will not be put to shame in Jesus' name. 
I thank you for grace, grace to be humble. Humble, 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 humble. Humble in you, Lord. Oh, I just bind the spirit of witchcraft. Um, <clears throat> I just feel like he's been highlighting witchcraft over and over and over. And it's sad because I just sense, like, I'm not, it's not funny, but I just sense, like, it's sad because witchcraft is not supposed to be something that one should be discerning in, like, um, like Christian settings and whatnot, right? It's something that you would think you just see in secular atmospheres or, like, places where, you know, God is not, but I just feel like he just wants to uproot witchcraft in churches. He wants to uproot witchcraft in godly settings where it's just supposed to be Christianity, you know, God's way. But, um, yeah, all that demonic stuff has to go in Jesus' name. It's not our portion. I pray that <coughs> all of God's people, all of us would just present ourselves to God every single day and just search me, oh God that we would humble ourselves we wouldn't assume that we're always like we're doing everything right we we wouldn't assume that every single step we're taking is correct but we would just acknowledge him in all our ways ways according to proverbs the book of proverbs god i thank you for your presence right now hallelujah i just invite you right now i invite you into um like just invite the holy spirit invite him into every aspect of your life so just surrender right now just give him your full surrender um, say yes to God. That's it's for all of us, including myself. Every day I'm like, you know, these altar calls. I get altar calls from the Lord, you know, to go deeper, deeper than I've ever been before. Um, so yes, God, we say yes to you. We say yes to you on a deeper level in this night watch or whatever time it is with you. But we say yes to you, God. We say yes to your your presence. We say yes to run towards you and not away from you. We say yes to take pick up our cross and to walk with you god we say yes to whatever happens god we say no to the demonic we say no to the demonic show us if there's any way we've partnered with the demonic that we would renounce it repent of it and turn um to you completely and to follow you completely and to love you completely god help us god creating us a clean heart renew a steadfast spirit within us help us in jesus mighty name to just follow your ways god Help us to follow your ways, God. We need grace, grace, God. Thank you for the grace to fast. Thank you for grace to pray. Thank you for grace to intercede. Thank you for grace for the watchmen in Jesus' name. Grace to watch and pray, to warn, um, exhort, God, to bless, to prophesy, to pray in the spirit. God, thank you for grace, grace. And thank you, God. For just all of your children, God, all of your children, all of us, God, I just speak life, life, abundant life in Jesus' name. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, what do you want us to know about loving you, Lord? As I was praying um, in tongues, so I get, I have uh, this gifting interpretation of tongues and, you know, he says whatever he wants to say. And then I ask questions if I don't, you know, know exactly what God's saying about it. Like, there's an interpretation, but then it's like sometimes you have to ask questions. So, God, I thank you just for your love. I just feel like um, this I love you is more like a, a desire that God has for us to be, like, presenting ourselves and telling him how much we love him. To say, you know, like, get before him and be like, God, I love you. I love you just for who you are. I love you, God, because you are God. I love you because of who you are. And thank you, God, for loving us first. Thank you for loving us first. You loved us first. There's a verse about that in the Bible, but that we love him because he loved us first. God, I thank you just for loving us first. <coughs> and God, help us to um, see you as our first love. Help us to turn our hearts towards you. Oh, wow. It's funny. I was looking up in Bible Gateway. I'm looking up because I'm trying to find the verse. And then I see the loveless church in Revelation 2, which is something I, I was praying about. I was in a prayer meeting earlier. And um, I was talking to that group about, like, the loveless church, about our hearts just turning towards God and loving him. And it's similar. Like, he, he mentioned, I love you. And um, in, ter in terms of God being our first love, that's what I was sensing earlier today. Just about like representing ourselves and um, really making God our first love. Um, so, Father God, help us to be aware of where we have, um, you know, maybe turned away from you, put other things first, God, not you. Help us to see if we've put television before you. 
um, or if we've put food before you or like relationships before you, whatever it is that we've maybe unintentionally or whatever it is put before you, God, help us to uh, turn away from that, seek you, hear your voice and see what adjustments we need to make so that you would be our first love God. So yeah, if you want to check out Revelation 2, the Loveless Church, it talks about things in there. I'm still looking for the verse. Okay, we love him. Okay, it's 1 John 4.19. I'm going to go to the full chapter. Praise the living God. 1 John 4.19. Hallelujah. There it is. Okay, oh wow. Okay, I'll start in verse 17. Love has been perf perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, verse 18, <coughs> but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. And then, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving us first. Thank you for putting us as a, a treasure before you, God. Thank you for loving us and creating us and caring about us. Help us to put you first, God. Help us to just surrender fully. I just feel like a full surrender. That God's calling all of us to a full surrender, a deeper surrender um, in the secret place, a deeper surrender to just really uh, seek him and hear his voice on deeper, deeper levels. Not just the general stuff like, you know, some some of you already know what you're called to do. Um, some of you already know some direction in your life, but there's deeper stuff that he wants to share. Um, so, Father God, I thank you just for those deeper things, God. You are God who reveals deep and secret things, God. And I even feel like um, there's an inner healing work that he wants to do. Deep inner healing work. Um, nothing to fear, but just intricate, like just deep stuff he wants to touch. Like it might be... <laughs> something he wants to just uproot it might be like some type of um like things that are coming to mind right now is like uh perversion like there might be areas where he's just trying to like heal deliver bring some truth in jesus name so father god i thank you for a breakthrough against uh the spirit of perversion a freedom um to forgive those who may have opened doors in their lives and to just bless them in jesus name thank you for freedom to forgive um uh, those who have uh, opened the door to pornography and just perverted things, God. And I thank you for a cleansing, God. You are a God of cleansing and purity, God. And I just speak that over our lives, just a cleansing and purity in Jesus' name. Uh, a gold, a refinement, which uh, turns us to gold. So we just look, we're spotless, blameless in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that your children, all of us, are pure and holy. And that um, you can clean us out and uh, uproot things. And as we present ourselves and we're honest before you, you will show us those things. So, Father God, thank you that there's no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. God, I thank you for the grace to present ourselves to you and just hear you out. In Jesus' name, amen. Focusing on you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for grace to focus on you in Jesus' name. And thank you for that inner healing work. Amen, amen, amen. Well, that's it. Um, God bless you all. Um, you know, sometimes I think I'm just going to come here and worship. It's all, it's whatever God wants to do, but I feel like that's what he wanted to share. And so God bless you all. Be blessed. Have a nice night. May the Lord uh, keep you, heal you, bless you, and reveal deep and secret things. I bind that spirit of witchcraft right now in Jesus' name. And I just speak purity, 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 and breakthrough in Jesus' name. May God bring breakthrough, healing, and truth. Hallelujah. To you and every aspect of your life. Amen.